For 33 years, Lyubica Milicevic and her eldest daughter Mladinka have been making the trip to the main cemetery in Frankfurt to visit the grave of late husband and father Nikola Milicevic. They say he was murdered in 1980 by the Yugoslavian Secret Service. But the murderer has yet to be brought to justice. I don't wish them dead, but I wish for justice that they may be punished. After the funeral in 1980, Milicevic was left to raise five children alone. At that time, Croatia was a part of Yugoslavia, and many Croatians were living in West Germany as guest workers. A political struggle raged between right-wing Croatian nationalists and the socialist Yugoslavian authorities. Many Croatians abroad were demanding independence from Yugoslavia, which responded by sending hitmen to West Germany to target dissidents. Among them, says Ljubica Milicevic, was her husband. At least 22 Croatian exiles are said to have been liquidated during this time by the Yugoslavian Secret Service, UDBA. But only one such murder case was ever tried. In 2008, for the first time in a German ruling, the Munich Regional Appeals Court named the backers. Bavarian criminal investigators obtained warrants for the arrest of former Yugoslavian Secret Service chiefs from the former Socialist Republic of Croatia. Among them was Josip Perkovic of the Yugoslavian Secret Service, once in charge of surveillance of Croatian exiles in West Germany. Croatia has yet to extradite him. The Milicevic family has no doubt he shares responsibility for the murder of Nikola. They want the German courts to turn up the public pressure. Who exactly was guilty? Which persons were complicit? Like Perkovic and his cohorts. That has to be exposed at long last. So much gets covered up in Croatia. Croatia is to become a member of the European Union this summer which gives the family hope that the guilty ones will be arrested on EU warrants. For now, the former Secret Service boss, Josip Perkovic, is living and moving quite openly in Croatia's capital, Zagreb. He's even testified in another trial about the torture of Croatian soldiers during the Yugoslav wars of the 1990s. Josip Perkovic was a witness here, not a defendant. For months, he rejected all requests for an interview. Croatian journalist Željko Peratovic says there's a reason why Croatia has so little interest in subjecting its former Secret Service agents to the scrutiny of the courts. There's no political will because Josip Perkovic and his people were later active in the nationalist Croatian Democratic Union Party. The party came to power when Croatia broke away from Yugoslavia. The former agents stayed in their posts in the Secret Service headquarters, but switched sides in the 1990s and worked for the cause of Croatian independence. Instead of the socialist Yugoslavia, they were now working for an independent Croatia. But the job was the same, including the violence. At the Zagreb train station, Peratovic meets a man who can give evidence, Dobroslav Gracanin, an officer of the Yugoslavian army when fighting broke out in 1991. In 1992, he was imprisoned and interrogated. He was subjected to years of severe physical and mental abuse. It was right up here on the first floor, left-hand side, second door to the right, in 1992. That's where Perkovic and his henchmen broke eight of my ribs. At the time, Gracanin didn't know his interrogator's identity. It was Josip Perkovic and his agents. After his release, Gracanin moved to the European Union and lived in the Netherlands for 10 years. On a visit to Zagreb last year, he happened to spot his tormentor in a photo from the war. The same people stayed on, they just changed their clothes. 
odeću, ništa drugo, to su isti ljudi. The secret service heavies of the socialist 1970s and 80s became the secret police thugs of the nationalist 90s. They still have not been brought to justice. There's no justice in Croatia, no truth. Everything's corrupt. By any criteria, in my view, this country is still far removed from EU standards. On July 1st, Croatia is to join the European Union. In Frankfurt, Ljubica Milicevic, her daughter and their attorney, hope that will help get the investigation moving, 33 years after the murder. As an EU member, Croatia is obligated to aid in the prosecution of war criminals. My hope is that the German justice system will make it possible for us to hold Mr. Pakovic accountable for what we all believe he initiated and for which he bears the primary responsibility. Croatia has a long road ahead before the crimes of its secret service can be laid to rest.